Thank you to everyone involved for organising this timely opportunity to mark the eighth anniversary of the ruling by the Cologne Court that non-therapeutic male circumcision is actual bodily harm. That ruling was immediately politically sidelined, but the thought is out there in the political, public and judicial domains. The idea that it is okay to cut a healthy bit off a healthy child is a hard thing to justify. There are now an ever-growing number of academics from various disciplines who are examining circumcision with unblinkered eyes. The physical sciences now quite clearly show that the foreskin is specialised erogenous tissue. The lawyers, ethicists and philosophers are no longer afraid to tackle the issue of non-therapeutic genital cutting and many have pointed to the alarming way basic rights are denied to a great many children, boys, girls and those born with variations of genital anatomy. The religions and cultures that practice non-therapeutic genital cutting now have within them a growing body of people who are questioning the practices. In our many groups and organisations, we have now become a movement to be reckoned with, a movement that provides support, a voice for victims and the will to hold the authorities to account for what is essentially a non-accidental injury in child protection law and a wounding in criminal law. The Worldwide Day of Genital Autonomy has provided a clear focus on the important issue which is providing children with protection from non-therapeutic genital cutting in all its forms and manifestations.